So what are the differences between bread wheat and its ancestors, uh, emma wheat and, and uh, goat grass? Well, first of all, of course, the grains of bread wheat are much, much bigger. Um, and so this is a big advance on either of those others, uh, certainly uh, compared to Emma. Also, you'll notice there are these very long uh, spikes on the, on the thing. They're called awns. And they are a function in the wild plant because what happens is that the seeds fall off the wild plant. And these awns twist when uh, the humidity of the atmosphere changes and it does so through the day. And the result is that these awns move the seed across the soil surface and, and uh, cause the seeds to get lodged, to get stuck in, in, in cracks in the ground. And that buries the seed, which of course then helps it germinate later on. So that's natural selection has produced in many grasses, uh, like this one, um, this mechanism for helping the plants to establish. Bread wheat doesn't have that. Um, it's of no value whatsoever to a farmer to have seeds that are adapted to bury themselves in the ground. These plant, these seeds never actually leave the seed head until they're mechanically broken in the process of threshing. So this is one of the main differences between the wild plants, which shed their seeds uh, spontaneously, and domesticated plants of all kinds, not just wheat, that actually have been selected to keep their seeds together so they can be gathered by the farmer.